Yeah, it's, it's good, Dia. You know, I'm getting to know our neighbors in this part of Manatee County for sure. And one thing you're going to notice in Anna Maria, besides the beach, all the relaxing and quirky shops you can check out. Sean Daly, places so relaxed, they're not even open right now. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> you're over at Ginny and Jane's <laughs> breakfast spot, and <laughs> I don't think there's anybody there with you. And uh, now you're in a golf cart. I am now, you know, it is else? so relaxed at Anna Maria Island, so relaxed that, yeah, they didn't, you know, they're kind of on island time, I guess. Everyone's just kind of hanging out, doing their thing. So I came across the street, but, you know, it's very illustrative of Anna Maria Island that everyone's so relaxed and laid back. I can roll with that. That's fine. Across the street from Ginny and Janie's, they have rentals for golf carts and bikes and scooters and all sorts of things. And that really is, James Tully, the best way to see Anna Maria Island, you know, not a, you know, walk it, bike it, you know, <laughs> be careful where you have breakfast. You never know if it's going to be open or not. <laughs> but James, we were talking about, you know, we kind of grew up on the eastern shore of Maryland and uh, Rehoboth, yeah. Fenwick Island, if people know about that. Uh, it's a real laid back atmosphere, right? It is. Yeah, exactly. You know, and not taking anything away from those places where I vacationed as a kid. You said you had your first newspaper job in Ocean City, Maryland. There's just a stark difference. And, you know, you got the That's touristy right. places, uh, the chain restaurants, and places like that. Here in Anna Maria, it is all local. And there's something beautiful about that. Absolutely, 100%. We were talking to uh, Lacey back there at the uh, at the Waterline Hotel, and it really is. There's not a lot of chain stuff. It's all mom and pop. It's like a mom and pop island, which is really, really refreshing. You know, well, uh, we have a couple places coming up later on this morning. We're looking forward to seeing. And again, mom and pop restaurants, and it's all very tight knit, a close community. I like it. I wish I had more people to talk to, but I like it. <laughs> We're just a little early. You know, we got up way too early as we send things back into the ABC Action News studios in Dia Riley. Uh, you know, this is um, oh, it's August 27th. Uh, you know, we're a little bit outside of tourist season. I'm going to show you a place, the Starfish Company, coming up later this hour, Dia. They're, they're, they don't open until 1130, but when they do, there's always a line out the door for people to get their fresh seafood there as well. Uh, there's a charm here. There's certainly a charm here.